Do you want to add cool transitions to your stream just like this? Lucky for you, I'm going to show you how, and it's super easy. So if that sounds good to you, drop a quick like on this video so other streamers can find this video. Then let's make like a baby and head out. First thing we need to do is head over to this website, which I'll leave linked in the description down below, because this is where we'll be getting our transitions. And as of recording this video, it's currently free. Not sure how long it's going to be that way, but I ain't complaining. And this works for OBS Studio, Streamlabs, Twitch Studio, Kick, Twitch, literally whatever you want to use it for. And they were nice enough to sponsor today's video, so shout out to own. Pro. But enough yapping, in order to take advantage of this, we gotta click join for free or log in, whichever one works best for you, so click one of those. Then we're gonna log in with the Twitch account. If you're using this for YouTube or Kick, just make a free Twitch account as a dummy account just to get through this, and that way you can still download the transition. So click log in with Twitch and go log in with Twitch. I feel like I said that a lot. Once you've logged in, it should bring you to the dashboard, and then we're gonna go to the bottom left corner of the screen where it says assets, and then go to next to downloads where it says transition. So we're going to click that. And as you can see here, it says showing 20 results. However, if you keep scrolling down, it's going to keep loading more. There are so many different transitions that you can use. And if you're already using one of these like overlay packages from owned and you know the name of it, then you can simply click in the search bar. Like, let's say a lot of you guys are probably using the dark mode series. So if I type in dark mode, it should pop up. Maybe if I don't put a space. Yep, so there's the dark mode series transition. So if you're already using an overlay pack that you did from one of my previous videos, like the video in the top right corner, then you can search up whatever one that you've already used. So that way it looks nice and clean and cohesive. However, if you just want to go crazy with it, you can feel free to spend as much time as you want going through all of these different transitions. I found one earlier that I thought was cool. So I'm going to type in dynamic and it's this one. So I'm going to simply click on it and it's going to bring us to the little preview page. And right behind my webcam is the name of it, and then it has a download button. However, it says transition point is 1800 milliseconds. That's gonna be important when we import it to our streaming software. So once you've picked out your transition, we're gonna click the download button and save it to our computer. So once you've downloaded it, open up your streaming software. I'll be using OBS Studio in today's video since it's the most popular, but you could also use Streamlabs or Twitch Studio. It should be a very similar process. So at least in OBS Studio, you'll see scene transitions over here in the bottom, and then you'll have a couple different options here. So you have fade and cut. Well, okay, actually that's not what we need though, right? So what you actually need to do is click this little plus button here. So we're going to hit plus to add a new transition and we're going to add what's called a stinger transition. When we click the stinger transition, it's going to give us the option to upload a piece of media like a video. I'm going to call this one. Honestly, you can just leave it as stinger unless you got multiple, then you can feel free to name it. If you're wondering how to add it into Streamlabs, you're not going to see that same bar. It's actually going to be this tiny icon right here where it says edit scene transitions. So you'll click that. And then from here, you're gonna do add transition, and then you're gonna change it from cut to stinger. And it's pretty much the same exact settings we're gonna be going over in OBS Studio. And then if we go next to transitions to connections, you're actually gonna see the beginning scene to the ending scene. So if you wanna have the any scene to any scene, so all transitions, you're gonna make one that says all beginning scene and then all ending scene. So that weights everything. But if you wanna get in more specific, you can set up specific connections in Streamlabs. But let's go back over to OBS Studio. But now it's gonna ask us for that video file. So we're gonna click the browse button and navigate and upload the download that we just downloaded from owned. So mine happened to be right here under the downloads folder. So I'm just gonna double click it. It's gonna upload it. And now if you remember where it said transition point, that was at 1800. It was literally right above my webcam and right above the download button. So if you already forgot what the number was, you can go back and figure it out and then put it in there. So the transition point for this specific transition is 1800 milliseconds. Now, depending on which transition you use, we'll definitely change the transition point because all of them have different speeds and different times that they actually do the transition. So for this one, it recommended 1800, but you can feel free to mess around with it if it ends up going too soon or too late. So once we have that, we can scroll down using this. If you have your, uh, your mouse on here and you start to scroll, it'll change the value. So don't do that. So actually just go and get yourself down here. So at the very bottom, you'll see that we have two audio selections here and it's actually very important because most of the transition files from owned have a sound effect that plays for the transition so if you want to actually be able to hear that on your end you're going to change the audio monitoring from monitor off you can change it to monitor only and you'll be able to hear it or i believe you could change it to monitor and output 
So if you want, you can do that. Or if you don't want to hear it and have your chat hear it, you can hit monitor off. However, you don't want any audio, which personally, I'm not a huge fan of the sound effects for the audio stuff here. Then I have a quick workaround for you. We're going to use our good old pal Easy GIF because they have a free mute video feature that's actually specific for WebM files and it preserves that transparency for the transition. If you use a different video converter in order to mute the video, chances are it won't preserve that transparency so to be able to make a smooth transition and I found this is the easiest because you don't need to make an account you don't have to sign up for anything you literally just choose the file so click on choose file and then you'll double click on the video file that we downloaded from owned and then we're gonna click upload video and so it's gonna upload that video with the sound effect on it so we're gonna give it a second for it to upload shouldn't take too long and then now we have this video here we're gonna click on mute video and so now it's gonna convert that video with the sound to the video without the sound but it's going to keep that transparency which you'll see is going to be very important so this part's also important you're actually going to click the save button don't change it to gif uh don't change it to mp4 because you're going to lose that transparency so you just want to click save and it's just going to export it as that webm file so you could call it you know whatever transition you called it first but you can do like muted or no sound and you'll hit save so that way now we have the muted transition file which we can put into OBS if we want. So now that we're back in our streaming software, if I wanted to do that, I would simply just click the browse button and replace it with this new file, so the muted file. So then now we can simply go down and hit OK and you're not gonna have that different sound that plays. However, if you wanted that sound, that's totally fine. Then you can use those options. Like if you go back and click these three dots, properties, and let's say you re-upload the one with the sound, then just change your audio monitoring to monitor only if you want to hear it, or if you don't care about hearing it, but you want your chat to hear it, then you can do monitor off because they're still going to hear it. So once you've decided if you want to hear the sound or not, you can simply hit OK. And now this is where the magic happens. All you have to do is simply change your scene. So I'm going to change from this scene to this scene. So I'm going to click and now it's going to play that transition. And as you can see, it landed beautifully and there wasn't any issues with transparency. So it all looked good and great. So if you want to keep leveling up your stream, then continue this playlist to the side of me. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.